Hey, what's up guys? Just coming here and doing a uh, short review on this RCA antenna. I'll post the model on the um, description. But pretty much this RCA antenna, um, it's pretty good. I get all the CBS, NBC, Fox, and ABC along with other channels too. I'll go inside and show you what channels I actually get with this. Um, I try multiple antennas. Um, and none seem to be working like this one does. I purchased a um, other antenna that was um, amplified and it didn't pick up CBS and NBC. Um, CBS and NBC is about 45 miles away from me. Uh, uh, east, towards east, somewhere around there. So. I had a lot of trouble trying to get those channels and it wouldn't come in. I was trying to get ready for that Super Bowl. Um, I finally made the switch, um, cancel DirecTV. It's way too much money. Um, I just don't know how people was able to pay $150 to $200 for uh, free service that you could get. Yes, you do get other channels. You do get the benefits of the other channels, but there's Hulu, there's Netflix, and there's other services out there now that are, you know, way better. You don't have to necessarily have DirecTV to be able to enjoy that or any cable service or this network. But um, I did install this antenna. What I did, I actually purchased a coax cable and I also purchased a amplifier. That's the little amplifier, the RC amplifier. I'll show you what it is the box in a little bit so I purchased a coaxial cable to use it from up there down to the direct TV system well not the system it's actually the direct TV um, cables so right now I currently have one two three four TVs and then I have this is the cable that goes out to the um, antenna out up there. My DirecTV is way over there. So right now I'm getting um, it's four TVs that have antenna, and I actually have one more inside that I split that I connect to my projector. So, honestly, it's about five TVs. Four TVs and a projector, so it's a total of five devices. I have this antenna connected to. Everything comes in clear. It looks really good. Um, I, to be honest with you, I think it actually looks better than DirecTV. But, um, let me go ahead and go inside. That way I can show you the um, amplifier I bought and also the, um, TV, the TV channels. I'll right back. So this is the digital signal um, pre-amplifier that I actually purchased um, too, along with the antenna. I noticed that you do have to have the amplifier in order for you to get the um, um, signal that is further away from you. Without it, I was not able to get the um, CBS channel that I was trying to get in the NBC, but as soon as I connected this device to it, it started working perfectly fine. Like nothing there's the model number I'm really pleased with it all right let's go and look at the TV now all right so here's the projector that I um, use to be able to get my um, local stations on it I projected to about a hundred and twenty inch screen um, I was able to watch the Super Bowl in there they look awesome and then I have I have a converter uh, because that projector does not actually have a um, cable, a um, connection for a cable, coax cable. I actually had a converter out there and I used it with the RCA cables, which is the red, yellow, and white cables. And then I just connected this to that and I was starting getting the signal. This is the other splitter I have. I have the main that have the main um, I 
the main cable coming from outside. This is the cable coming from outside connected to the um, at preamplifier power. It does require an outlet, so nothing gets connected outside, it connects everything inside. This is the splitter. This is the other splitter I use from DirecTV. Again, all this is DirecTV cable. This is all their splitters I'm using. Um, you do know that when you have you return your equipment, you do not have to return any splitters or any cabling other than the receiver, the remote control, and the power source. That's it. Other than that, everything else is yours. Um, don't get rid of all that cabling if you ever want to get TV um, off-air antenna. So I use this. This is the this is the one the the one that comes from outside, and this 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 is the one that I have for my TV. The TV, the main TV, and this is the one for the projector. So now let's go ahead and look and see the um, channels. By the way, the TV does not look blue as it looks right here on the um, on the um, TV screen. It actually looks way better, but just the way the angle I have it on. For some reason, it's picking that up. So this is the guide. So there it is, I get channel 3, CW, Comet, Word TV, Bounce, LAFF, WZZM, WX, Justice, WXSP, Cozy, Escape, Fox 17, let's try channel um, CBS, see? The signal. Pretty awesome. Now, so those are the channels. Then I get the Fox. I'm gonna update that. I get two two channels for Fox for some weird reason. Um, one of them I don't get the um, the guide on it, and the other one I do. And one of them has a lower signal, and the other one, for example, this one has signal and it's five bars I go to the next channel full bar not sure why but hey I'm not complaining so going back to the channels there's 17 on with the 35 and then I get 41 And then get that one is all all the way from Kalamazoo. That's a Kalamazoo channel. So let's see. We're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I get 39 channels. All these channels are for free. I'm not paying anything for these channels. Like I said, they actually look pretty good. I don't know why the camera's picking at a blue, but the color is crystal clear. Um, I have four TVs connected, and when I need the projector, I connect that to, to it, so a total of five. Um, I'm pretty sure you could go more if for people that have multiple TVs. I'm pretty sure you could go more. Um, Cable-wise, I have, if you recall, I showed you outside. I have one cable, one, two, three, two cables going all the way around the whole house. It's basically from where you've seen the cable 
um, right there to the other side of the house. That's about maybe uh, 20, about 50 feet, I think. The other one's about 40 feet, and then there's one that is about 30 feet long. And then I have the one that comes inside, right here to this big TV. That's another 25 feet. And then I have the long cable from outside, from the roof down to the um, main splitter. That's about maybe another 30 feet, maybe more, 30, 30 to 40 feet. So, I mean, I before I bought this, I was looking at a lot of um, websites, a lot of reviews on other cameras. I had a lot of trouble trying to determine what cat uh, what um antenna I wanted to get and like I said I purchased multiple antennas and finally I was able to get the um one that I I thought that was gonna work. I was kinda hesitant on installing it on the roof. Um I don't like drilling holes on the roof. But I went ahead and did it anyways and um, to my surprise, I ended up getting a lot of channels before of course before I did that I tested it out I went up there um, put the um, preamplifier and I hold the um, pole by myself holding it up there to make sure I got the signal before I started um, Getting rid of those, you know drilling holes on the roof on the roof, but I Mean if you want to get rid of cable direct TV dish network you can get this get this antenna and you're gonna get it it goes this antenna is rated for for um, 100 miles but I found that hard to believe without the preamplifier the without the preamplifier I was getting um, I wasn't even reaching the 40 miles I installed the preamplifier and I got the whole thing um, I don't know if there's more antennas. I didn't really check to see if there's more stations pointing that way or um, from that area, but I'm satisfied for what I have right now. Um, other than that, I mean, if you have any questions, any comments, um, please comment below. I'll try my best to answer those questions. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.